Hey guys, what's up? So the next poem I'll be reading is 1,919. And this is titled, Don't Let It Break You Anymore. This poem is so powerful and inspiring, very relatable for that one person that just got out of a relationship or someone that was led on or someone that found out that the special someone only meant something to them. Love is just like a mirror. It has two sides. It could be beautiful and worthwhile, but it could also be dark and sad. Its power is so much more than people know, but also it's the power we give it. Once you realize this, it won't affect you and you win. <clears throat> Don't let it break you anymore. I guess you can say I put all my eggs in one basket. I know it probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, but that's just the way my heart is. It never listens to my mind when it comes matters to the heart. I keep replaying that kiss in slow motion in my mind. How could a moment so perfect, so memorable, so beautiful, filled with so much powerful emotion mean nothing to you? Now all my friends are out, probably at the restaurant, at the bar, dancing, bowling alley, or at a house party, and men at home in my room, didn't want to bring down a black cloud on them. So I'm drinking red wine, listening to sad songs on repeat, letting the tears smear the ink to this poem that I'm writing about him. I can't believe I let him get under this skin. I can't believe I let that wall crash down. And I can't believe that I was fooled once again. You would think after all the poems I have written, all the experiences I went through, I would have learned. I always resented people that said love was a game. How could it be a game? You're dealing with people's raw emotions, their memories, a history. And it's not until now that I realize what they mean. I'm shattered in pieces and I've lost I didn't know I was playing until you walked away, and now you probably have so many suitors sitting down in your waiting room while I'm mourning the loss of something that almost happened. There's nothing more that I despise than being in this broken place that I can't seem to get out of. I wish I was one of those casual people where one night stand sexual encounters and multiple partners and promiscuity would satisfy me. But unfortunately, I wasn't billed that way. My friends are shaking their heads while looking at me in tears, probably bad mouthing him, giving me a hug. But the thing is, I played my part in this too. No one's ever innocent. I should have been more aware of the reality of our different paths. I mean, not everyone feels the same which could be so discouraging when you realize this after you have fallen in love with a person. I'm opening up another bottle and pouring another glass of wine, looking at the moon from the window. I keep replaying that kiss in slow motion, the one you gave me that night in my mind. How could a moment so perfect, so memorable, so beautiful, filled with so much color and power, an emotion mean nothing to you. Right when I was about to finish the last class, I threw it on the floor and started to scream, releasing all of my emotions out. I didn't stop until the pain was done. It felt like a doctor doing his surgery, and I was awake, seeing and feeling everything. Finally, I stopped, and there was nothing but silence. It felt different, and I realized with a smile that just like that, the moment passed. <clears throat>